Okay, good morning. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, error detection, and next time we are going to discuss an error, uh, error correction. Right? So error detection right? very straightforward. Right? You transmit, I transmit the code to you. You are once you receive the code, you are going to determine if there's an error uh, or not occurred during the transmission. That's the only thing you need to know. You don't need to know how to correct. Even you decide, okay, there's an error, but you don't need to know how to correct the error. Right. Um, so this is called the error detection. Uh, error detection method, basically we have several. Right? The first one is called the redundancy. Uh, the second one is the echoplex. Next one is uh, exact count. And uh, uh, count encoding. And number four is uh, redundancy checking. Redundancy means uh, we transmit the data multiple, multiple times. For example, I want to transmit zero. Right? Or I want to transmit one. Instead of only transmit zero once or one once, I transmit twice. Right? Zero, zero. If I have zero to transmit, I will transmit twice. If I have one to transmit, I will also transmit twice. Right? So now, once you receive this signal, right, the message, you need to check if this zero occurs twice. Right? If you receive something like this, Definitely no. We do not have anything like a zero one. Uh, we only have zero zero or one one. So if you receive a zero one or one zero, then you know there's an error uh, occurs during the transmission. Uh, so this is called the redundancy. Next one is the echo plex. That's easy to understand. I transmit something, then you uh, you transmit back to the transmitter. Uh, to double, for double check, uh, for checking. Uh, example is, for example, you know, when you, uh, when you uh, type on, on the uh, computer, uh, you type something like a key, you type on the board, then you look at the screen if, if it is a key or not. Uh, if you have double E, then you know it's wrong, then you are going to um, correct the error. So this is called echo plex. The next one is the uh, exact count uh, encoding. We transmit binary. Uh, for example, if we transmit uh, in four, four bit, if we transmit three uh, decimal, that means we transmit zero, one, one, one. Uh, okay, zero, zero, one, one. This is three. Uh, if we, for example, make a rule, the number of ones in the code will be like a the exact number, for example, we all the tools in any, uh, all the ones in the code, for example, equals uh, two. Mm -hmm. Then, if you find out the number of ones is not equals two, then you know there's uh, some error. Right? Um, so that is called exact count encoding. The next one is the uh, redundancy checking. When we transmit some code, for example, transmit zero zero one one zero zero one zero like this. I will add a redundancy checking bit and make this code satisfy some condition. You are going to, once you receive a signal, you are going to check this one. If the, the rule satisfied, then this may be correct. If it's not satisfied, then definitely there's an error. So this is a, a redundancy check. Uh, for redundancy checking, yeah. basically we have uh, two types of redundancy checking. The first one is called the transverse redundancy checking, or it's also called the vertical redundancy checking. Uh, what is this? Remember, when we transmit a uh, PCM code, uh, the AD, ADC, AD converter, the output is parallel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Suppose like this. Uh, we transmit 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, like this. 
So this is a vertical or transverse. Once we have something, for example, one, zero, uh, let, let me make some example. One, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one. Okay. Like this, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Suppose it is, uh, we have seven bit. And uh, we are going to generate an extra bit, it's called the checking bit, and make sure that the number of ones will be even. This is called an even, uh, even uh, parity or checking. So in this case, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. So the number of ones equals uh, three. Uh, so it's not even. So we need to add one. So this is called the parity. Uh, and because this, the extra bit is in parallel with this, so it's called vertical or transverse. Uh, Transverse, right? Uh, read on this check. Another one is called uh, uh, longitudinal, uh, LRC. For example, if we transmit this word uh, first, then we are going to transmit to the second one, uh, then we are going to tra transmit to the third one and the fourth one. Once we transmit a block, several, we check only the first digit. Then we make uh, the first digit satisfy some parity requirement. For example, the number of ones equals even or the number of ones equals zero. Then this is uh, called a longitudinal uh, redundancy check. Uh, we have an example here to show how to do this for uh, the uh, Let's say Basically, we have even and all the parity. Suppose the number is one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. So that is the first one. That is the first uh, um, byte we want to transmit. And we want to use an even parity. Once we finish this seven digit, we need to make the number of ones is to be even. In this case, we have one, two, three, only three. So the parity bit will be when you put one here to make the number of ones equal. Even. Right? And the next one will be uh, one, so this is the first one. The next data will be one, zero, zero. One, 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 zero, like this. Again, we have seven, we have seven digits. And we are going to put our parity bit. What should we put here? Zero. Zero, right? Because the number of ones is already four, so it's already even, so we need to put the zero. Right, the next one will be zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, right? What is here? One. Okay, this one must be one to make it is even. Then the last one will be one, 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 zero, one, zero, one. So what is here? One. This one must be one. So five, six, seven, uh, three, four, five, then six. Right. Uh, this is called uh, what uh, redundancy? Is this called the TRC or this is called LRC? And we transmit the first byte and byte one. And this is byte two, and this is byte three, and this is byte four. For each byte, we need to add a parity digit. What kind of a par um, redundancy checking is this? The first one or the second? First. This one is the first one. Okay, the transverse because of, okay, yeah, AD, the chip, ADC, and uh, first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the one zero one zero one zero and zero one zero like this. And so it's vertical, right? all in parallel. So we need to add this one to be one. So this is the first one. Right? Then this one transmitted. Then we have the second one like this. Then the third one like this. Right? So that is called the TRC. Now, so the 
the size of our block is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We are transmitted 4 bytes. Then we are, we are going to, this is the TRC. Eh? Then we are going to apply LRC. LRC we are applied to this uh, 4 byte, the block. But uh, we are going to add an extra byte, not only one digit. Uh, that is called checking byte. So the first one, one is uh, the parity for the first the digit only. So the first one is one, one, zero, one. So we have uh, how many ones we have? Three, right? Okay, so now we need to make this event. So the first one we need to put the one. Right? Then the second one, zero here, zero here, one here, one here. So we already, the number of us already given. Yeah. So we are going to put a zero here. Okay, so. so then we apply the third digit, so this, this, and this, and this. So here, so one, zero, zero, one, one. Okay, so again, zero. So we do this for all the four words. Uh, so that's one, zero, zero, and uh, one, 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 including the checking bit. Okay. So this is called the LRC. Does it make sense? The original data is this, 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 and this. Right? So 28 bit total. And divided by 7, so it equals 4 bytes. And for each byte, we are going to add a TRC parity for each. Once we have a block, in this example, we use a 4. Now you can use a 2, you can use a 10, you can use a, uh, you must have a, a, the rules known based by the transmitter and the receiver. So in this example, we use a 4. Right? Once we have, a, we transmitted this for the block, the whole block, then we are going to generate our LRC uh, read, uh, checking byte. Right? And the first one is uh, for the first bit. The second one is for the second bit, and so on. Okay? So this is a uh, uh, redundancy checking right? uh, parity. The next one is a uh, checksum. Checksum is uh, once we have some numbers, right? then we calculate a sum and we put it at the check bit. Once you receive, it, you use the same rule to calculate. If the sum is the same, satisfied, then we assume there will be no error. Although, definitely, we, we may have error, but uh, we assume there's no error. Huh? But the most important is if it does not satisfy, not equal to, the, the, our calculated sum is not equal to the received sum, then we determine, decide there will be an uh, error uh, during the transmission. For checksum, we have a single digit, and we have a single uh, precision, and then we have double precision. We have a Honeywell, and we have a residual checksum, and we have different uh, uh, schemes. Uh, the details is in the, in the textbook and in the lab notes. We don't discuss the details here. Right? So, uh, very simple. So this is a uh, checksum. The next one is a uh, check bit. Check bit to me is a check digit. So you can see there's only one digit. Right? Uh, check digit is uh, the decimal value of, uh, of the checksum, the binary checksum. And uh, what uses the check bit? The typical is the UPC code. ISBN 10 ISBN uh, 13 Those three are the typical applications for check data uh, Now we discuss the first one For UPC so Everybody knows the UPC barcode, right? If you buy something, you scan the barcode uh, The barcode looks like this uh, you can see, and the most important is uh, the numbers under the bar. Right? The bar is used for the scanner to, to scan it. 
the bars represent a number. So for example, for this bar code, the numbers equal to uh, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 0, and 2, 9, 1, 4, uh, 5, 2. Uh, we have six, uh, 12 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's some like a guard space in between, right? So, uh, but the most important part of this 12 digits. Uh, each digit, or maybe a several digits, a group of digits, represent a different meaning. For example, uh, uh, who produced this thing over here? What, what is it? Uh, something like this. Uh, you can check uh, uh, from the textbook. And the check digit is the last one. The purpose for this one is uh, to make we to make uh, this number, this whole code, after some calculation. This one satisfies some condition. So if you fake, make some UPC numbers, then if you do not know the rules, then this, if you check, then we know this is wrong. So what is the rule? How that means how to deal, for example, how to determine this digit, check digit. We know it's a two, right? So two is correct. If I put a three, you know three is wrong. So how do we know that? Or if I just Put blank here. How do you decide what is this? Okay, the rule is: uh, we the first digit we multiply by three, right? The second digit multiply by one. And the next one is three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. Uh, here, that's uh, multiply. This one equals zero. This one equals three. That one equals eighteen. This one equals one. This is three. I'm wrong, right? Zero, zero. Okay, yes. Okay, so zero, zero, zero. Uh, this one is six. This is nine. This is a uh, three. This is a uh, four. This one fifteen. Right. Now we don't know this. Right? We want to determine this one. We add all these uh, how many numbers? Eleven. Right? We know this eleven numbers. Multiply by this three one three one three all the way to one uh, to three. Then we have eleven uh, product. We add up all this together. And this one equals, in this example, that equals 58. Right? The rule is, uh, we want to choose the number here that make this one is a multiple of 10. So, what number here? Five. Uh, because this one times three, so this one must be times one, right? You, you can see the pattern, times one, three, one, three, one. So this one, the weight must be times one. So that means times one is itself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we want to choose a number here, multiply by one, which means it itself, okay. then add it to this sum and make this total sum is a multiple of a 10. What? Say that one more time. Say that one more time. Make this number, you choose this number, yeah. right? multiply by one, okay. then add it to this sum, the whole sum, add up together. This sum must be a multiple of 10. Two. two. Okay, so this one must be equal to two. So 2 times 1 equals 2, so we have 2 here. So this one equals 58 plus 2 equals 60, which is a multiple of 10. So that's it. So this number must be 2. Eh? If during the transmission you said this one equals 3, then equals 61. I receive this number as 3. I check this one, because it's not multiple of 10, so I know there's something error, something wrong here. But I don't know which one. Right? Maybe this two is good. For example, but this one you said this one equals uh, okay zero. You transmit it. Now this one will be this. Then you add up together. It was fifty-seven. So it's, again, not So I know there's something wrong in the code, but I don't know which one. Does that make sense? Right. So the new PC code uh, we have twelve digits. Uh, the rule is uh, the weighted uh, the sum of the weighted product. The first one times three, times one, three, one, three, one. Add up together must be a multiple of ten. This is how we uh, define this or understand this. But actually, when you write a code, for example, let the computer to recognize, to determine this one. Um, we are going to do this. The first one, calculate the sum. Uh, the sum equals uh, d1, d2, d3. Uh, all this, uh, all the way up to d11. Uh, copy this, then multiply by uh, 3, 1, 3, 1, 
okay, all the way up to uh, 3, 1, okay, and 3, like this. So let's give us the, the sum. Eh? In this example, it was uh, 58. Uh, the next one will be, we calculate the T, and the T is the modular of F eh, divided by 10. So in this example, this one will be equals what? Uh, the sum equals 58 divided by 10, we take the remainder, which equals uh, 8. Right? So that's the second step. The next step is uh, uh, the check bit uh, will be equals uh, the mod uh, of uh, t mi uh, 10 minus t, then divided by 10 and take the residual, uh, take the remainder. So this one will be equals uh, t equals 8, so this is 2. 2 divided by 10, what is the remainder? Right? Which is two. This is how we determine the check bit. Huh? Any questions on this? It's good? This one is easy, right? right? The next one will be uh, IFBN 10. What is IFBN? Where can you find the IFBN 10? Textbook. Okay, textbook. Right. IFBN and I have a textbook here. Right. Right. So how IFBN 10, definitely we have a 10 digit, right? This is a 10. For example, uh, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we have 9 digit. Right. This nine digit, the first nine digit represents different meanings. For example, zero means an English speaking country, or one, three, zero, or something, I forget, but uh, some blocks represent the, the publisher. And the next, uh, some numbers represent, for example, uh, the, the sequence of the book. You know, for example, they published the um, 125 books, and the next one will be 126, something like this. Uh, and. Uh, the key point here, that I uh, is the checking digit. So how do, once we decide this nine digit, that one is fixed, uh, based on the contents on the publisher or, or something. Uh, we cannot determine this arbitrarily. But once we have this nine, this one needs to be determined from this nine digit. So how to do this? Uh, the rule is uh, this number multiplied by 10, uh, this number multiplied by 9, this one 8, this one 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay. Multiply by this. And uh, this question mark definitely multiply, it should multiply by, by 1, right? You can see. So this one actually should multiply by 1. And add all these numbers together. Right. So this one equals a uh, What's this? Zero. Zero. Nine. Nine. Twenty-four. Zero. Twenty-four. Zero. Twelve. Zero. 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 Nine. Three. And uh, we don't know this, but multiple one still here. Okay. Then add all these sums together. Why is one times two three? Huh? Why, why is one times This is not two, that's the question mark. What's the mark one before it? Huh? Which one? Oh, oh, sorry, this is two. Okay. Uh, so add all this uh, product together, uh, we get a sum, and this sum must be a uh, multiple of uh, 11. Uh, so by this way, we can determine this. So that is ISBN 10. Uh, <coughs> uh, the algorithm is uh, uh, first one, we calculate the sum. The sum is uh, d1, d2, all the way to d9, multiply by, okay, so you can see 10, 9, 8, all the way to 2. Okay? So d1 times 10 plus d2 times 9 plus all the way to d9 times 2. Okay? And this sum, in our example here, this one equals uh, 56. Okay? Up to this point. Huh? excluding this uh, question mark. 
56. So now tell me what do you think this should be? We need to have multiple CD lab. After this point, we have 56. Okay. Geez. And we need to add some digit multiplied by 1 and give us the sum that is multiple. Oh, 10. Okay, 10, right? So this one must be 10. 10 times 1 equals 10, and 56 times plus 10 equals 66, which is multiple. 10. Oh, you like? Okay, 10. How to write the 10? Right? So we have a method plus uh, x. x means 10, right? X means 10. So if you see in you know, an IFBN, if you see an X in you know, an IFBN 10 number, that means 10. So that is how we determine this one. Right? In the algorithm, once we get this, how to do, what's the next one? The next one is uh, uh, calculate the T. The T will be equals uh, the remainder of this S divided by. 11. In this example, what is t? S divided by 11, what's the remainder? Zero. You say x? No, after only, after this point. This s, all the first nine digits, multiply by this are equal to 56x because we don't know this x okay. uh, we need to determine the x okay. so up to this point equals 56 so we said okay we plus 10 equals that's all okay. how to determine that 10 how do you know divided by that's what you want to know oh uh, yes so remainder that's equals to 1 eh? yeah. once we get the 1 okay the checking digit will be the remainder of 11 minus t then again divided by 11 Computer can do this. Uh, our brain can do this. Okay, 56 plus 10 equals 66. The computer, not easy to do this. Uh, this is too less complicated. So the computer can only do step by step. They do this. First one, find the remainder of 1. Then use 11 minus this remainder, which goes 10. Then 10 divided by 11, the remainder equals uh, 10. Right? So this equals x. That is how the, the algorithm works. Well, next one will be RSPA 13 uh, because uh, the number of publications is uh, get, uh, getting larger and larger. So this RSPA 10, maybe not, we don't have enough numbers. So they are going to convert into RSPA uh, 13. So now RSPA 13, right now, the first three digits are Either 978 or 979. So only these two options so far. Then we are, for example, I want to convert this one. If you look at your textbook, you may have already have ISBN 10 and ISBN 13. So how to convert a 10 into 13? So the first time we add this these three here, then I will copy all the numbers from there, except the checking digit. Uh, so uh, now, for example, this textbook here, uh, this is the 10, IFBN 10, IFBN 13 will be uh, 978, uh, uh, some use 979, but in this book, use 978. Then I will copy all others, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, and 1. But this x, I don't use. Because this one, again, checking digit, I need to redetermine this. Right, so this one cannot be here. Uh, again, I need to determine this one. Right, so this, we have a 9 here. Then we plus 3, so that's 12. Then we need to determine this uh, checking digit. The rule for this one is uh, we need to multiply by uh, 
This the first one multiplied by one, second one multiplied by three, next one one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three and one. Right? So again, the, the checking digit is always about multiplied by one, right? So you can see. Now, now this one here, the first one equals nine, so next one is twenty one and eight zero one nine zero six zero zero three three. Right? Then we don't know this one. Or add this together up to this point. This one equal to uh, 60. The rule here, the rule here is uh, the sum must be multiple to 11. But for our SBN 13, the rule is uh, this one must be, um, the total must be a multiple to 10, not 11. Right? So you need uh, to be zero. Right? So this one must be zero. So then maybe this one must be zero. Okay, again, the algorithm, uh, how to do this? You calculate the sum of uh, D1, D2, uh, all, the, all up to D12, the first 12 digits, and multiply by 1, 3, 1, 3, and all 1, and 3, like this. Uh, and in our example, let's say equals uh, 60. And the next one is uh, the T. The T will be equal to uh, S 10 and which equals 0 then the checking base will be again the remainder of uh, 10 minus T over 10 uh, divided by 10 uh, and this remainder will be equal to 0 so that's how we determine this thing. Any questions on that? That's not difficult, right? right? You only need to memorize something. All these are not the, the major topic of today. Right? The major topic of today will be the next uh, simply redundancy checking. Uh, we are going to use this a lot. and the parity we discussed uh, so far. The parity, the checking digit or the checking sum, there's only one bit. So for example, if you have one, one, zero, one, you want to make this even, so you are going to add this one. Uh, so this is only one digit. If you have a burst of noise, for example, yes, during transmission something wrong here, then you are going to lose this several digit then you are going to cannot, you, you know there's an error, but you cannot, uh, for example, correct the error. So this one means the, the strength is not that good. Right? Instead, we generalize this idea. Instead of a single digit, we are going to make this one as a block. Right? So uh, make more digit here. If we have a one, one, zero, one here, I can pl uh, pl add several digits. This is called a um, block checking 
Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Because PCC. Theoretically, this block is not necessarily a whole block here. It can be anywhere. For example, I put a, so this is one, one, zero, one. This are digits. Right? I can put some digit here. I can put some other digit, two digits here. Right? I can put uh, nothing here, but I put uh, several digits at this point. Right? So the only, the only condition is uh, both the transmitter and the receiver know these are the data, these are the, the checking. So they, they can um, decode this. So this is a block checking character. But in this class, we only discuss the simple case. Suppose it is here, right, at the very end. So the first part is the message. Right? The second part is the block checking character. And uh, these two add up together is called the code. In this example, uh, the number of data is 4, and uh, we, care, we call this one is uh, the number of data, we call this m equals 4. And the number of uh, checking bit in this example equals 3. We call k equals 3. And the code will be written, this code will be written as uh, 7, 3. 7 is the length of the code, which is the sum of the data and the block checking character. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. And 3 is, is the length of the check. Uh, okay, I think a little bit wrong. Okay, so this one is supposed to be 4, not 3. This four is a. Uh, this one is this, this is a four. Yeah. And the CRC is the most reliable uh, error detection method. Does anyone know this CRC before? Have you met this CRC before, somewhere? When you copy a. Uh, large file or some uh, whole disk sometimes uh, after in the middle of some somewhere uh, you see okay CRC error have you, have you seen this before uh, that means your data somewhere is already wrong uh, the, the data stored in, in the disk is wrong so that means most probably you cannot just copy it because you need the special expert, expert uh, expertise to, to do this, but you cannot just copy this. It's already wrong. Right? So for storage, they also use a CRC uh, algorithm. Okay, so now let's see how we do this. The CRC, uh, we know the data. Yeah? We just want to know how to determine the the BCC uh, block checking uh, character. First one, we know there's a message. Uh, we have a message polynomial. This is called message polynomial. And then we divide it by a generator polynomial, uh, GX. This is called a generator. Generator polynomial. This generator polynomial will be given right? based on different algorithms. This will be different, but anyway, it will be given. So this data based on your application. Once you have this, you have this, then you divide this. Definitely, we are going to have a, a quotient, right? also polynomial, and then we have a remainder. A remainder here. And this remainder will be the block checking bit. Uh, block checking character. That's easy, right? 
if we know the method polynomial, if we are given the generator polynomial, then we just divide this two, and we get a quotient. Looks like this quotient is useless. Uh, yes, we don't need this anymore. Right? And what we interest is uh, only the remainder. And this remainder will be the block checking character. Then we add this part at the end of your method, of your data. Then that is the code. Uh, first half, we discussed several of the generator polynomials. The first one is CRC12. Uh, and this GX equals X to the 12 plus X to the 11 plus X to the 3 plus X to the 2 plus X to the 1 plus X to the 0, which equals 1. Right, so that is the CRC12. And we have another one, CRC, uh, for example, ITU, International Telecommunication Union. And this one, GX equals X16 plus X12 plus X5 plus X0, which again equals 1. And we have several others listed, CRC16, CRC32. Right? And there may be more, but the, that's not important. Right? Anyway, this generator matrix will be, uh, polynomial will be given. We can represent this polynomial with this a real polynomial, but most probably we do not want to use this one. Because this one, when we write this one, this is too lengthy. Instead, we are going to use the coefficient to represent this polynomial. For example, this one here, I use uh, the coefficient to the polynomial to represent this polynomial. So the first one is uh, 1, right? The coefficient to the x to the 16 is 1. The next one is uh, the coefficient to the x to the 15, which is, uh, we don't have that term. So that coefficient equals 0. Right? Do we have 14? No. 13, 12, 11. Okay, 12, we have one, right? Okay, right, so sorry. So, this is 12, right? this corresponds to this, this. So 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. This one is uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 1, right? This is 5. All right, then 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Uh, instead of the real polynomial, we can just write it like this. Uh, and later time we are going to use the example to show that uh, we may prefer to use this map. Uh, any question on this? And uh, what is this? Can you write this? Do what? That's a one. So this one will be a one, one. Zero all the way down to three. Okay, this is a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, four one, 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 one. Right? That's easy, right? Yes, it's too easy. Okay, next one is, uh, we are going to, right? we use the example to show how to do this. Suppose the data is uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. The data is given in the binary digit. And we know the polynomial, right? right so this one is uh, x to the so. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes, okay. Then x to the 7 plus 6, 5, right? 4, 3, 2, 1, and uh, x to the 
zero. Is this correct? So that is there. This is the data. Then what is the Mx, the massive polynomial? That one will be equals, uh, the requirement here, we are going to generate a, uh, uh, so this is the data. I want to find the CR 13 bit CRC. That is the requirement. So 13 bit CRC means that is 13, the length of the code. And what's the next one here? The length of the data. Eight, right? So how long is the BCC? The length of the code will be 13. The length of the data will be 8. The remainder part will be the C block. Right? So this is the data, then this is the BCC here, data. And the whole is called the code. Right? This one equals 8. This one equals 13, so this one will be equals 5, right? So the length of the BCC will be equals 5. 13 minus 8 equals 5. Five, this one will be equals uh, x7 plus x5 plus x4 plus x2 plus x1 plus x to the 0 multiplied by x to the 5. How to get this 5? We know that, right? 5 is uh, 13 minus 8. Right, so what is this? This one will be equals uh, x to 12 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 9 plus x to the 7 plus x to the 6 then plus x to the 5. Right. That is this uh, mx here. Right? Then what is the generate polynomial? And what we, we are going to use, uh, let me see. Uh, the generated polynomial, the give, this is given, right? It's given in the, in the question. This one equals uh, uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Right? We write this one into a polynomial, so what is this? Those are the form, in the form of coefficient. We write this one, convert this one into polynomial. What is it? Which one we start out with? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Yeah. So x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus 3, 2 to the x to the 1, then plus x to the 0. Right? Or just the equals one. Right? So this one is uh, the generating uh, polynomial. The next one will be, we are going to do this division. So this divided by this. Right? Uh, so mx divided by gx, that one will be equal to, we use, uh, um, copy all this, x12 plus x10 plus x9 plus x7 plus x6 plus x5, then divided by, and uh, x5 plus x4 plus x1 plus uh, 1 here. Uh, then we know how to divide the polynomial by another polynomial. Uh, x12 divided by x5 equals what? x to the 7, so x to the 7 is here, so we are going to write x to the 7 here, right? Then x7 multiplied by this, so that's equal to x12, right? then this one x to the 4, x7, so x to the, plus x to the 11, plus uh, nothing here, plus nothing here, okay, so we can do this one by one. Then we have a quotient here, and we are going to have a remainder at this point, right? So you can see, this one is lengthy, right? So that's why we said we do not use this method. Instead, look at here, we only care about the, co uh, the coefficient, right? So one or zero. So instead, we don't use this anymore. We just use directly apply to 
operate on these numbers, right? binary numbers. Right? So the first one, you look at this. This is the data. So that is uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. That is the data given. Convert this one into a message polynomial by multiplying by x to the 5. You look at this, x to the 5. Now we have a 0, x to the 4, 0, x to the 3, and so on. So actually, all we have five zeros at the end. And this one will change into 12, so 7 chain into 12. So basically, once we multiply this by x to the 5, the coefficient will, will change into this one. We just the data add five zeros. That make sense? So originally, this one is x to the 7. Now, you add five zeros, this one will change into x to the 12 to here. And uh, this one is x to the 11, this one is x to the 10. That make sense? Right. So the first step is uh, you copy the data, then add five zeros at the end. And you need to know why it is five, it is five zeros. How do you get this five? Why is five zeros, not six, not, not four? Because we need a 13 digit polynomial, uh, the CRC code, so 30, the, the length of the data equals eight, so the BCC must be five. Right? So we put the five zeros to replace that BCC. Or, even, I don't tell you this, so actually this information is redundant. I don't need to tell you this. Right? You still need to know from this uh, generated polynomial, you need to know that is a CRC 13.8 code. Why? Because I give you this polynomial, uh, this generated polynomial. How many digits do we have here? Six, right? You have a number here divided by six digits here. And we only care about the remainder. How long is the remainder? Keep in mind, we are doing this in a binary. So how long at the maximum is the remainder? Huh? Let me give you another hint. Seven. If you have a number, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? so this is 1234, you divide it by, for example, uh, 15. Right? We care about the remainder. How large is your remainder at the maximum? One or these are decimals, right? One hundred, one thousand two hundred thirty-four divided by fifteen. I'll just give you random numbers. What is the maximum? Uh, uh, any number here. What is the maximum remainder here? What's the maximum? Thousand. Huh? Thousand. Right? Let's make this more elementary school. Right? So 5 divided by 2. What is the a number here? Okay, I do not tell you 5, just a number here. Divided by the 2. What is the maximum remainder we may have here? Two. You can have two as a remainder. Okay? 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Oh, you said equals 8, equals 4, so 8, so you remember equals 2. That's how you get 2, right? What? Right? So the maximum remainder equals uh, 1, right? Okay, for example, 9 divided by 2 equals 4, then 8 equals 1. You cannot have 2. If you have 2, you need to divide again. Elementary, right? Okay, so now let's do this. What is the maximum remainder here? 14, right? You cannot have 15, you cannot have 1,000. Right. If you have 14 or 15, that means you still need to, the quotient needs to be one more. Right? So the maximum here is 14. So this is in decimal, we know this for a fact. Right? Now we come to a right? university level, this one is a binary. Right? This number you divided by this six digit. 
how long is your maximum remainder? Five digits. Right? That's perfect. You cannot have six digits, right? If you have six digits, that means you need to start from one and something here like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, then you can still continue this. So this is the first one, we need to, cons um, to know. The first one, this is binary. The second one, all this division is a modular two division. Right? That means zero minus one equals what? Modulo 2, subtraction or anything. So you write the code in assembly language or something. So 0 minus 1 still equals 1, right? right? So in a binary, plus is equal to minus. Why you look at me like, like that? <laughs> I ain't saying it. Huh? Let's see this. One plus one equals what? One. One plus one equals one. One plus one equals one. Two. <laughs> I want to make up some rules like this. I would say two, but I'm saying one. Yeah, binary. We have only zero and one. Yeah, so one. One plus one equals what? Zero. Equals zero. And you carry the one. The one is carried, right? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. What is one minus one? One. One, one minus one. <laughs> 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 I'll be broke. Zero. Zero. So one plus one equals one minus one. Oh. How about uh, zero plus zero? Oh, zero one minus zero. zero. Right? Same thing, right? And if you check this, you know plus. What is zero plus zero? Zero. Equals zero. Zero minus zero equals zero. Right? Zero plus one equals one. Zero minus one equals one. Right? So that means a plus and minus are the same thing. Make sense? In binary. In binary, yeah. So make sure you say this. Yeah, we are we are doing binary. Okay. Okay. So that's why I said, okay, so here this one actually is a done redundant. Right? You don't need to know. I don't need to tell you this, you should know the length of the BCC equals 5. Right? So this one here, put 5 zeros here, then divided by, and this uh, generated polynomial, again, we do not use this uh, real polynomial, instead we use this uh, binary sequence, which is here, given. Right? 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now we need to do this uh, division, and uh, we need to put some quotient on the top, but we don't care about that. We only care about the remainder. So let's do this. Six digit, we consider six digit. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we have on the top? One, right? But you need to know how to do this, all right? In the homework, in the test, this will be. All right, so this is one, one, zero, zero, one, one. We subtract, yes? We add, yes? Oh, the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Why you used to do it like this? Yeah. Uh, yes, right? right? One plus one equals zero. This one, 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 zero. Oh, sorry, this is one, right? Okay, nothing here. Make sense? It's very easy. If they are same, zero. If they are different, they are one. So that's what the operation is this? Uh, but ain't when it's supposed to, ain't when it's two ones, you put zero one at the top. You're supposed to put zero one over there, right? And then that'll still be one one. Two. Which one? So you supposed to put z. You supposed to keep carrying the one, don't you? Which one? Like you see where it's one one, right? One one. No, no. Right at the beginning. One one. Go. Over. This no, one. Two. Right there where it's one one. At the beginning, right over there. Beginning. Which, yeah. which beginning? This one. Zero. To the right. Zero. To this one. Yeah, right there. You see that's one one, right? Yeah. That's supposed to be a zero, right? At the bottom. This one zero. You're yes. supposed to carry the one. Uh, you just we don't erase the one. Modular too. We don't do the carry thing. No carry at all. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make your life easier. Don't consider the carry. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, to be a symbol, if they are same, zero. If they are different, one. So why you got one at the top? 
This one is because this six digit, six digit, this is one, this is one. So this one divided by this, we have a quotient one on the top. That's the division. Like 15 divided by 7, we need to put a 2 on the top. Oh yeah, I get what you're saying, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Then 2 times 14 here, then we have 1 here. Then we subtract. So that is the, but the key here, subtract is you just, uh, if these two are the same, it's 0. Different, one. Right, that's much easier than you really do this uh, with a carry some subtraction. And this is the easier part for this binary operation. Make sense? But these two still get this, all right? All right, so we have got this one, so this is 5, this is 6, so we need to put the 1 down here, right? And on the top, this is 1, so we have a 1 here, and again, we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 here. Now, can you do this? All right, we go from here, tell me. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, so that's it. Then we move this 1 down, what is on the top? This one has a five digit, this one has a six digit. Zero. Remember, there's a zero here, but I don't know. Yes? So nothing here, right? Because this number is smaller than this. This six digit, this is a five digit. So put zero on top. Then we move another one down here. Now both have a six digit, so we are going to have one on the top. So one, one, zero, zero, one, one here. All right. Subtract or add what we have here. One. Zero, 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 one, zero, zero, right? So you need to line perfectly, otherwise you are going to have a... Oh, I don't want to do this, this one because it looks like a one. Yeah. So I, this one is here, so I will move this zero here. What do you have on the top? Zero. Zero, okay, there's another zero here. What is on top? Now we have six digits, starting with one. So one here, so one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Uh, this one is up to this one, right? So what do you have? One, 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 zero, zero one here. Zero. Okay, now the zero. We have here, one, right? Okay, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. And this one is uh, one, zero, one, one. One here, yes? Yeah, okay, then another zero, then be one. So one, one, zero, zero, one, one. All right, what do we have here? One, one zero, 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 one. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. That's the remainder. That's the remainder, right? How many digits do we need for the remainder? Less than six. Less than six, but we need to have a five because the, BCC, the length of the BBC is five, right? So we need to put a zero at the front. So this zero needs to be here. Any question on that? All right, so now what is your our CRC code? Right, so then the CRC code will be anyone tell me? The data followed by the PCC. Alright, we copy this. Or you just replace this five zeros with this five remainder. That's easy, right? So that it will be a one zero one one zero one one one. That is the original data. Then put this file PCC here. Where the original data? Original data is here. Oh, okay. Or okay. is here. But we put five zeros. We make this one as the oh, message the point number. Them number, them the file number. Then these five numbers will replace these five zeros. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? So that will be zero, one, zero, zero, one. So this is called a block checking character. This will be the original data, and this whole is called the CRC code. And this gives us a 13, 8. 13 is the total length, 8 is this. Is this on the test? Yeah. Oh, I need this one more <laughs> It's on the homework too, right? I ain't tripping sure much, not over it. So what's on the test? What on what test? 
Didn't you say we gotta save the money? Yeah, yeah so we have a test on the money. Alright, what's on the table? You went over there already. We already reviewed it. We went over it. Yeah. At the beginning of the class or something. I got you. Goes, uh, Somebody will sell you for like a hundred dollars or something. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. Okay, so any questions on this? Yeah. I'll give you a data, give you a generator polynomial. You give me the CRC code. Are you going to hold that? Huh? This for extra credit? <laughs> Don't do it for extra credit, I'm gonna do it right. A good wish. Okay, you, you don't need to do this. <laughs> Okay, so any questions? If I give you an example, can you do it? What's the grid? Uh, so the key here is, uh, first one, that part is easy, the data, then you need to determine how many zeros will be ended at the end. That is the length of the PCC, right? Mm -hmm. Or it is uh, from 13 minus 8. Or if you look at this, if I give you the generated polynomial, six digit, that means that will be five. You give you eight, then that will be seven. Make sense? Right. Now look at this. CRC12. Is this good? Is this polynomial good? Yeah. Why is it good? Because we got a 12. How many digits do we have here? 12. How long, how many digits oh, are in the generator? Five. Thirteen, right? Thirteen, yeah. From oh. zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to twelve. So that's thirteen digit. So that means here, <laughs> that will be thirteen digit. Yeah. So the remainder will be equals, how long is the remainder? Twelve. So that's why it's called CRC twelve. Make sense? Now this one is ITU, this one is uh, 16, so this one will be a CRC 16, right? Yeah. So how long is this uh, generator? 17, and the remainder will be 16, this one. Uh, 10, the remainder got to be 16 at least, it don't got to be 16, dude. This one is 17 digit, so the That's remainder right. need to be 16. Oh, you want it to be one less? Yes. All right. right. If like this here, you have only four, you need to put a zero before that. Make this See, that one was 13 though. So why the remainder? No, 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 not 13. The BCC is five. The polynomial, generally the polynomial is only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six digits. So it needs to be five. This is all our generated polynomials. All right, I got you. So that's a six, that means the BCC needs to be five. But our remainder effort is four, one, zero, zero, one. You need to put a zero before this to make it a five. Otherwise, you, you miss the one this one, so this is not 13 anymore. It needs to be five. Okay, so now this one is our CRC code. I transmit this to you. Okay? Suppose what you received is one, zero, okay? this one you receive zero. Okay? This one is supposed to be one, right? But you receive zero. And one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero. All others are correct, right? except this part is wrong. Make sense? I, as the transmitter, I generate this, I transmit this to you. But you receive this one. But you don't know which one is, is wrong. You just receive this amount of code. So now you need to decide is there anything wrong inside of here? Right? That is your task, right? This is the error detection. How to once you receive this one, without looking at this, how do you know if this one there's an error or not? Okay, easy. You use this one as here, right? you just put this, the whole thing received, divided by the generator polynomial again. Right? You calculate all this, try to find the remainder. If the remainder equals zero, okay, we are good. We assume it is good. Still, there's a possibility that it's wrong, but we assume it is good. If the remainder is not zero, okay, definitely you can say there's something wrong. But yeah. never made the remainder zero down there. This one? Yeah, that's not zero. This is uh, in the transmission side. We are talking about it at the receiver side. Oh, so Once you receive the code, 
It should be zero. You, you do this, then receive the code. Look, this one. There's not five zeros anymore. That is the code we received. You use this one to divide the. Uh, you use this one divided by the generator, same generator polynomial. Right. The remainder supposed to be zero if this one is correct. Right? If it is the remainder equal to zero, we cannot guarantee it is correct. But uh, if the remainder is not equal to zero, we definitely can see it is not correct. So if we change the last five digits to them five, we're going to get zero at the end. Yeah, this, this, this is the code we need to transmit, right? Yeah. But when you receive this one, maybe not necessarily like this. Maybe this one is wrong. This one changes to zero or something different because there's an error in the transmission. But anyway, you receive 13 digit. You use that 13 digit to divide. Uh, you use that 13 digit divided by the same generator polynomial. Try to find the remainder. If the remainder equals zero, you see there may be no error. If there's a, the remainder not equal to zero, you can see there must be error. But you don't know which one. You can only see the error may be here, maybe here, maybe here, maybe who knows? But there's something wrong. Yeah, we use that to make sure we do it right. And this is going to be on the test. Yeah, definitely. You're right. It's easy. That's well, what I'm making yeah. sure I'm going to get somewhere. Everything is easy. Uh, we discussed everything. Is easy. Which, part, which part is difficult? You tell me. I don't know yet. Uh, see Just spend some time reviewing this. Right? Right. It's not a rocket science. This is not a uh, summer, summer like okay, huh? right. Look at this one. Division. Right? Yeah, this is easy right now. Okay, any questions? That's too easy. Uh, in the homework, there's a. I ask you to use the CRC32. Right? Based on my experience, most of you will get it wrong. <laughs> but we need to do it as well. Uh, you think? 30, CRC32. I thought it was a. No, no. Uh, no CRC32. Huh? Uh, CRC16. Oh, 16. Okay, 32. That's a bit bit yeah. uh, torture. So I don't torture you like that. I, 16. So how many zeros at the end at the end of the data? 18. No, no, no. 16, right? CRC 16 means the the length of the BCC is 16. So if you look at this one, CRC is 16. It start from 16. Right? For start from 16. So that means there are 17 digits here. So the the CR, BCC will be 16. So you are going to put 16 zeros at the end. I'll give you 16. It's bit of a data, right? It starts with 16, but it actually gives you 15. Okay, then you need to put the 16 zeros at the end, so you can see that is 32 right. length. Then you divide this thing, so I suggest you get a large piece of paper. I do not write the small one, then okay, you need to... Yeah. Okay? I'm confused. Hmm? Confused? Yeah, like you said 16, right? Why would you add 16 zeros? Like for 12, you didn't add 12 zeros. You just add we are not using, this example, we are not using 12. We are using 6. Okay. okay. Actually, this is CRC5. Yeah. Because you can see this one is only x to the 5, mm -hmm. 4, this one. So this is CRC5. Okay. So that's why I put only 5 zeros here. Make us here easier. Mm -hmm. right? If I give you this CRC16, with this line, you are going to put 16 zeros at the end instead of 5. Then the, this polynomial will be like, a, like here. Yeah, 1, 0, 0, all these 16, 17 long. digit long. Right? So you just be careful. Huh? Good news is I tell you the, the tricks, right? When you subtract this one, you don't need to really subtract. You only compare. If it's 1 minus 1 equals, you just add. Right? So, all, so 1 minus 1 equals. Zero. Huh? Zero minus one still equals one. Yeah, that's the easy point. Huh? If they are the same, they will be equal to zero. If they are different, they will be equal to one. What operation is that? Is that a, this? Yeah, 
So you, you, easily you can use the hardware to do this, right? But don't use your calculator. Your calculator, I don't believe your calculator can do this. Your calculator will tell you one plus one equals uh, two. And don't even convert it. As smart as converting this de binary into decimal, use decimal, then calculate this, then convert it back into binary. Still not correct. I somebody did this before. <laughs> he tried to be slave. Right. Okay, this long number converted into decimal. This one converted into decimal, then decimal divided by decimal. That's easy. Find the remainder, okay, converted into binary. Right. It looks like a smart way, but it's not correct. The reason is we are not actually doing this uh, division. We are doing the modular two or some division is different than the uh, traditional division. Uh, Are we good for the day? I think you deserve an uh, exercise. I want to make sure you get this. It's too easy, right? Huh? Waste your time. Yeah. Uh, time. Huh? Do you want an uh, exercise or not? I'll give you an example. <laughs> extra yeah, example. For extra credit, it's only three. <laughs> yeah, okay. You always have a good wish. No extra credit. Right. It's only three people in the classroom today. <laughs> Who's that? We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a lot of people. Extra time. Uh, exercise. Okay. Uh, maybe we can use a uh, uh, homework, right? Yeah. Do you have homework with you? Yeah. Is homework today? I don't know. You check the website. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep in mind, I don't accept the any homework. Turn the homework in, bro. We got to turn our homework in every class period. Look at the website. That's <laughs> scary. <over there. laughs> And then, even if you turn the homework today, that is for a long time ago, at least like one week ago. It's not use this. Okay. Turn the homework Monday. Well, we test that. So we had to turn homework. So the other homework was due last week. We had one due Monday. Now we all want to do today. He going crazy. <laughs> Where is the homework? This is the homework? Yeah. That's the CRC 16. Okay, CRC 16. Uh, what, what's the message? All right, the message is uh, uh, x15 plus x13 plus x11 plus x10 plus x7 plus x5 plus x4 plus 1. Is this the data or this is the the generator polynomial? It's the, it's the data. Okay. This is the data. Okay, so now. We use a CRC 16, right? I don't think we have time for, for, the, for everything. So now tell me, what is the message? The, the message? Uh, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, one. Yeah, you did it right. That is the data, right? Yeah. What is the message polynomial? CRC sixteen. Don't be shy to put uh, how many zeros at the end? Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Right? You believe yourself. Yes, we have 16 zeros. Right. Then all this divided by uh, we said uh, which one we use to generate the polynomial. 16. We have several several six. This is 16, and there's a CRC 16. They are so different. So which one do we use? Did I give you or ask you to? Okay, suppose we use this one, right? I don't know the, the homework, but suppose this one. Divided by what? This thing, right? Suppose we use this uh, CRC ITU. So we are going to divide it by this this one, right? So you this part, you put this all the 16 digits, 17 digits to here. 
Yeah, the star from the star from the 17, right? So there, okay, start from here, right? Then you put something, you kept it. Yeah. So you can see that is a mount, right? Yeah. Okay. What you just say is up? What you say? I don't hear you. I want to make you this point, this yeah. is the data. Yeah. Right. Then, because we are doing CRC 16, so yeah, you put 16, 16 data, uh, zeros yeah. at the end. Yeah. Then divided by the generator polynomial. Is that given? I will yeah. give you in the test the all. I just tell you that use this one and you use this one. So you think will be given. We right. don't use like how many digits is it gonna be? CRC 16, the 17. You know what I'm saying for for the thing that we divide by, it's gonna be 17 digits. Yes. Okay. So you divide by 17 digits, then the remainder will be 16 digits. So right. If you give us a ratio, that's 17. Oh, we leave off the uh, one zero? Yeah, because the remainder must be shorter than the, uh, yeah. than the divide. Okay. This one is in the whole. So this is what I'm saying. So you test. You, you, you give it. us to divide it by, we use that whole number. But when we get our answer, it's going to be one shorter. Yeah, and the remainder must be about one digit short. Okay, that's what I'm going to And you use that one to replace the 16 zeros, then you get the code. Yeah, okay? yeah, we're going to have it. Yeah, I got it. So this is only in the homework. You will spend some time to practice this. But in the test, I won't give you this long, right? That's it. Yeah, just give us a short. All right. Okay, thank you. I'm going to make a hand on the test.